Today, we completed our mission, which was to string lines via drone uh, over charged assets. And it is a first in North America. It's a first for PG&E. And we brought a high risk operation down to as minimal risk as possible. And it, everything just came out exactly as planned. Once the drone was landed and confirmed disarmed, it really felt like the end of any other mission that I've flown. Um, it wasn't until a few minutes later when people started gathering and people were acknowledging you know, what was just accomplished. And then you realize, okay, we, we did something special here. Um, but just because it was the end of a flight didn't seem anything special to me. Um, and now that I've had time to think about it, yeah, it, this was uh, great to be a part of and I'm proud of what we accomplished. Today was a game-changing day for our industry and for our company. I enjoyed seeing everything come together because I, I hear my team, um, their journey from learning it to testing it and to now actually going out and doing their first run was, it was a huge opportunity for someone like me to be a part of that and I was just very grateful to be a part of it. We're using this new system with this drone uh, to fly over uh, energized lines and residential areas, and um, it's gonna make uh, our work a lot safer. Thrive and enjoy working on, uh, on, in a place where uh, new technologies ha ha uh, are explored and uh, experimented with. So I'm, I, I really enjoy that uh, part of uh, pg &E. Everything went so smoothly. We were all uh, just amazed how well those drones can fly and how safe they are and how it can stand uh, one of the windiest corridors in California right here in Fairfield. I've seen drones that size before, but I didn't realize that, you know, that drone could do that work in that wind and how steady it was. The great deal of training that we've had, even since March, um, I felt that we were prepared for anything that would come up. Sustained winds were in the 20 mile an hour range. Uh, we were probably getting gusts up at, at, at flight elevation of 30 miles an hour. Um, things that we were all anticipating. You know, that they had gone through, it's like, hey, we vetted this out and we are 100% good to go. So uh, to see what this system can do and actually get it accomplished is amazing. Um, to see that we can go above and beyond what it's expected to do is even better. And I think it's really came together because we have put together a great team here. Uh, the PG&E UAS team has very capable, qualified pilots um, and really good thinkers. So um, even under adverse conditions, it was a breeze.